All right. So I heard from many of you that induction is a is a bit scary, and so I want to do an example of a induction proof here. And remember, induction is useful when you've got a statement that you're trying to prove for a whole sequence of numbers. And you want to prove that the statement is true for the first number. You want to assume it's true for some arbitrary number. And then you want to prove that the assumption implies that it must be true for the next number as well. And if you've done those three steps, you've proved the statement for the entire sequence of values. So let's think of what's a good one. Let's try to prove, um, let's try to prove the geometric series formula. So the geometric series formula is that if you have a geometric series, so for example, G1 plus G2 plus G3, all the way up to Gn, that that's going to equal uh, what is it? The first term times 1 minus the common ratio to the n over 1 minus r. I think that's correct. So what do we need to do here? Let's prove that it's true in the base case. So the base case is n equals 1. And so let's try it. If n equals 1, the first side is g1. The second side is g1 times 1 minus r to the first over 1 minus r, and that equals g1. And so we checked out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assume all of this. Rather than me writing it down again, I'm just going to grab it. I'm going to assume that that is true. Now, the big, the third step is where most of the action happens. What we're going to do is we're going to consider the n plus 1th version of the statement. So we have all of our n terms plus our n plus 1th term. And we have a goal. You can't write your goal as part of the proof. But it's okay to write it over on the side just to remind yourself. Your goal is that all of that ends up being g1 times 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r. Because your goal is to prove that the n plus 1th version of the left-hand side implies the n plus 1th version of the right-hand side. All of this first n terms are the induction hypothesis. So I can replace them with g1, 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Now I need the gn plus 1 to, you know, be similar to that. And so I'm going to write gn plus 1. Remember, it's a geometric sequence. And so a geometric sequence means it's the first term times the common ratio, and then it's however many steps you moved forward. So the second term is the first term times r. The third term is the first term times r twice. The fourth term is times r three times. Each time the number of factors is one less than the term's position in the sequence. So it's g1 times r to the n. Now I'm going to do a little weird trick here because I've got a fraction right here but I don't have a fraction right here. So I'm just going to bring a fraction into it to make there be a common denominator. 1 minus r over 1 minus r. And I'm allowed to do that because I'm really just multiplying by the number 1. 1 minus r over 1 minus r is just the number 1. And now let's look at what we have in common. I'll use a different color here. So both terms have a g1. And both terms have an over 1 minus r because I, I wanted there to be a 1 minus r. I forced there to be a 1 minus r. So I can factor out a g1 over 1 minus r. And then what's remaining is 1 minus r to the n. That is from the term on the left. And then the term on the right is r to the n times 1 minus r. And that's great. 
I'm going to move my face out of the way and we'll try to squeeze it in the corner here. I hope you can see how r to the n times 1 is r to the n. r to the n times r is r to the n plus 1. So here's what we have. g1 over 1 minus r. The negative r to the n and the positive r to the n cancel out. And I have 1 minus r to the n plus 1. And that is exactly our goal. So if this were a formal proof at the end here, I would write, so the statement is true for all n in z plus by mathematical induction. Or I would say, because of induction, the statement is true for all positive integers. So you could say for something like, for all n in the positive integers, the statement is true. Okay, there you go. So please let me know if there's anything confusing. I'm happy to help out. Thanks for watching.